Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. Over the first time here, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a little bit of like a chit chat, get ready with me, using only drugstore products. So I really wanted to recreate the look that I've been wearing almost every single day using only drugstore products so that it's really easy and accessible for you guys to recreate. I really hope you guys enjoy this video and enjoy this little bit of like a chit chatty get ready with me. I haven't done one of these in the longest time. So definitely let me know in the comments if you like to see more or if you have any other video requests. Do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and of course subscribe if you're not subscribed already and that's basically it so let's get right into the get ready with me okay guys so let's get started so i'm first going to start off with my face and i'm going to use my l'oreal pro glow foundation which is my current favorite foundation from the drugstore it's really great because it's very glowy and just works really well for my dry skin but actually before i do that i'm going to take my l'oreal magic lumi primer to add a little bit of a extra glue to my face because it's feeling super super dry so i'm just gonna massage that all over my skin so i guess we can start chatting a little bit so basically um i am in the midst of trying to look for a new apartment i'm planning on moving out for the first time five minutes before filming i just found out that i did not get the apartment that we put an offer in unfortunately which makes me really upset but it's okay i guess it just wasn't meant to be so now it's time to find another apartment that i like enough to put an offer in so that's a little bit upsetting but it's okay i'm trying to sort of just move past it you know like whatever's meant to be will will be basically um so yeah i'm moving out for the first time out of my parents house which is really exciting and also really nerve-wracking i sort of just came to the conclusion that i want to live by myself and i want to sort of make that next step in my life and i am so excited to actually decorate my apartment i have been looking up uh ikea hacks on pinterest nonstop over the past few weeks because i plan on basically decorating my apartment with mostly Ikea things that I've basically DIY. If you don't know what an Ikea hack is, it basically means um, like when you take something from Ikea and you sort of just repurpose it and make it look even better because obviously most Ikea furniture is pretty simple. So it's pretty easy to sort of spruce up a little. So I'm really excited because I have so many plans and ideas, but I gotta find an apartment first to actually put things in. So I'll let you guys know once I find something and once I do, I will definitely definitely be doing an apartment tour because I'm going to be putting so much time into actually decorating it and just making it basically look like a Pinterest board. Anyway, so I'm just applying this foundation to my face with my Smith 115 brush. This has been my favorite way to apply my foundation lately. So now I'm going to be taking my NYX HD concealer. This is in the shade beige and I'm just going to apply this underneath my eyes. All right, so now I'm going to take my Milani Prep Set and Go Transparent Face Powder and I'm just going to use this to set underneath my eyes just to set that concealer in place. And I'm also going to put some of that on my eyelids as well to set that in place. Next, we're going to move on to the eyes. I'm going to be taking my BH Cosmetics Shan XO Palette. Now this is definitely not a drugstore palette but it is still really really affordable so that's why I wanted to use it today and I've been really enjoying it lately I have been using it pretty much non-stop so I'm going to first take this shade over here this like orangey yellow shade and on a fluffy brush I'm just gonna pop this right above my crease when I want to look put together this has been the look that I've been going for just because it's so quick so easy and it really does make you just look like you spent some effort on your makeup. So now I'm going to take a flat brush and I'm going to grab this warm brown shade right over here and I'm just going to pop this all over my lid. Now I've basically been doing the same look but sort of just been switching out the color so you could really use any color combination of your choice. It's really just more so the technique than anything else but this color combo has definitely been my fave. So I'm just gonna bring this up into the crease and then we're gonna blend it out with a fluffy brush. But first we wanna actually apply it. So I recently went to Toronto for the Toronto International Film Festival for TIFF, if you are familiar with it. It was such an awesome experience. I went with L'Oreal, so it was honestly really, really cool. I actually got super emotional um, part of the trip. Like when we first arrived there, I walked into the hotel room and I saw all of these um, like things laying on the bed. There was letters that spelled out my name that lit up that was just lying on the bed. There was a bunch of L'Oreal goodies all around the hotel room. And I honestly just got so emotional, you guys. Like I was so overwhelmed. It just felt so like grateful at that moment that I just started crying. It was so like, genuine because I would I couldn't even control it. It basically just like flowed out of me. It was so strange, but I was just so excited because, you know, a lot of the times I see people like, 
going on trips and having all these things happen to them. Like I always see that happen on Snapchat, which is awesome, but it hasn't really happened for me. So the fact that it did happen for me, it was like in a moment for me and I felt like I had accomplished something and it was just, it was really cool. So yeah, that was an awesome moment and I just felt really great and it was such a cool experience we actually were able to see a movie premiere which was really cool um it was a movie with gerard butler so i actually got to see him on the red carpet which was pretty awesome um he's definitely a lot shorter in person in case you were wondering so now i'm going to take a little angle brush and the dark brown color that's right over here and i'm going to use this to start to create a little bit of like a smoky wing on my upper lash line so i'm basically going to create a wing with this and then i'm going to go in with a pencil brush and just smoke it out so after toronto we went straight to new york for gem beauty i met so many of you guys so if you are one of the people who came up to me to say hi i just want to say thank you so much for doing that because honestly it totally totally made my day and it was just so awesome to actually meet some of you guys in person it made me realize that I really really want to do a meet and greet at some point because I just want to meet more and more and more of you It was just so much fun and it was also really nice because I was actually able to see Kathleen in person Kathleen and I are friends, but we've never met in person We went out for dinner with Danny and her and that was super nice um, When I say we I mean David and I because David was there with me I don't know if I made that clear or not, but that was really awesome and I also got to meet Tati which totally made my trip to be honest with you like i am so obsessed with tati and her videos i absolutely adore her i think she's amazing and she's one of like the youtubers that i literally watch every single day because she's just so great so that was a really cool moment for me to actually meet her to be honest i sort of fangirled just a little bit just a little bit a lot anyway so i'm just applying this eyeshadow on the top of my lash line and winging it out a bit and i'm going to take a pencil brush i'm going to mix the dark brown and the warm brown together and i'm going to use this to sort of smoke out that upper lash line kylie jenner tends to do these like smoky wings very often and i do really like them they're i find they're very flattering and very soft on the eyes you know what, I actually have a question for you guys now that we're here chatting. As I said, I am moving soon and I, that means I'm going to have a new filming space. So I'd love to know what you guys would want to see in that filming space. Like what do you like to look at when you're watching videos? Because I'm basically going to be creating almost like a set behind me so I can really have a lot of freedom with what I can do. And I would love to know what you guys would like to see because it would be fun if we could almost like create it together. So definitely let me know in the comments. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go on Snapchat and ask you guys to send me some questions. So let's do a little Snapchat Q&A right now. Hey guys, so I'm in the middle of filming right now and I decided that I want to do sort of like a Snapchat Q&A. So send me any questions that you have and I will be featuring you on my video, perhaps. Okay, I said that. That was like such an awkward snap. So now let's work on the lower lash line. I feel like the lower lash line is really the key to this look. Other than the smoky wing, this is another really important part to the look. So I'm going to be taking the warm brown shade and on a small little pencil brush i'm sort of just going to sweep this on my lower lash line and i think that this warm brown is just so complementary towards so many different eye colors for the mascara i'm going to be taking my maybelline lash sensational mascara i've been getting so many questions you guys on what mascara i'm wearing which is insane i've been wearing this mascara basically only over the past few weeks it is probably one of the best mascaras i've ever used i sort of have fallen back in love with it it makes my eyelashes look so incredible so long and just so thick and amazing I definitely really highly recommend it so I'm just gonna apply this to my upper lashes as well as my bottom lashes like look how good it makes my lashes look and that's just like one coat it's so good so now the last step for the eyes is a nude pencil so this is the pixie nude eyeliner I love this one it's very creamy and it does last quite a nice amount of time on the lash line so I'm just gonna pop that on the lash line I actually forgot to put highlighter on my inner corner and brow bone so let's do that i feel like i always forget to do that so for my highlighter for my inner corner brow bone i'm actually just going to take the matte cream shade i've been loving an all matte look lately i find it just looks really pretty and clean so i'm just going to pop that onto my brow bone you can see how much that just sort of finishes off the look and i'm just going to pop a lot of this onto the inner corner of my eye to just brighten that up a bit. All right, guys, we have a lot more questions here, so let's open them up. So we have one from Jenny Myers. If you could do a collab with any brand, which one would it be, and what would you want to make? 
I always said to myself, if I were to create any product with a brand, it would definitely be a lip product. Honestly, there's so many brands, but one specifically that comes to mind is definitely Jouer, just because I'm so obsessed with their lip products right now. So yeah, I love them so much, which is why I would want to collaborate with them. Just putting it out there. Um, this is from Screspo1013. Hey, Jamie. So my question for you is, what is my question? <laughs> How long does it take from start to finish to do your makeup? Okay. Honestly, it really, really depends. Like if I'm taking my time and I'm doing more of like a full glam look, then it could take me up to like an hour. It typically doesn't really take me more than an hour though. Um, I can go pretty fast if I need to, but if I'm just doing more of like an everyday type of look, then it's definitely more of like a 15 minute deal. Anyways, I'm taking my Rimmel bronzer. This is in the shade Sunlight. I'm just gonna bronze up my face with this. So EJ Mayfield 90 asks, what is your favorite makeup brush brand, high end and low end? I would say that the Smith brushes currently are my favorite high end brush brand. They are just really fantastic. Probably some of the best brushes I've ever used. I've only really recently discovered them. As for something a little bit more affordable, I would definitely have to say Morphe. I think they have some really awesome brushes at a very, very, very low cost. This one that I'm using right now is actually from Morphe. It's the R14. It's really nice for contouring. And right now I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. I'm just using the contour shade to sort of bronze and a little bit more and sculpt out my cheeks. So Giselle asks, Oh, you're so cute. Who are currently my favorite artists to listen to? Melanie Martinez. If you follow me on Snapchat, you definitely know that already. I always listen to her music whenever I get ready. All right, let's move on to blush. I'm going to be taking my L'Oreal True Match blush in the shade. W34 Barely Blushing. So this is a really pretty like peachy bronzy shade. I'm gonna use my Smith 118 brush. Hi Jamie, oh, you're it's so Lana cute. from Miami. And I was just wondering if <sighs> you ever want to come down to Miami because I really wanna meet you. Oh my God, Lynette. You are adorable. I like to go there on holidays, so I may be going there soon, but I do love Miami and you are honestly so adorable. All right, so now let's do the brows. I'm gonna be taking my Annabelle. This is the Self Sharpening Waterproof Brow Liner. This is a really awesome product. It's in the shade Taupe and it's really cool because it's self sharpening. So whenever you twist the product, it actually sharpens it. So Ellie Lamond 9 says, Hi Jamie, if you were to use nothing but just one makeup product for the rest of your life, what makeup product would that be? I'm going to cheat a little bit. I would take a makeup palette and I would use that to do my whole entire face. If you've seen my one palette challenge, I use the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette and I use that to do my eyeshadow, blush, bronzer, basically everything. So I would use that palette and just basically use it for my whole face. So Sabani Ray asks, <laughs> so cute. That's very, very easy to answer. Definitely you guys is my favorite thing about being a YouTuber. I love the fact that we have built this little community and, and honestly, you guys are just so supportive, so sweet. My comment section is always such a pleasant place to be and it's really not like that everywhere on YouTube as I'm sure most of you know. The internet and especially YouTube could be a pretty hateful place but to be honest with you, like I feel like my subscribers are just the sweetest and I really honestly and truly just feel like you guys are just such beautiful people and it just makes me so happy that we're all a part of this little community and that's definitely my favorite part about being a YouTuber. So now to highlight my face, I'm going to be taking this Maybelline Master Strobing Stick. This is in the shade number 100 Light. So I'm just going to take my finger and just pop this on the tops of my cheekbones. Ooh, this is really pretty. I've actually never used this before. This is actually really nice. Hmm. It gives you a really solid glow, damn. This is really pretty. I really like this. Okay, so I think I'm gonna take this nude shade from Maybelline. This is called number 05 Strip Down. It's from the Color Jolt Intense Lip Paint Collection. So now to top that off, I'm gonna take Shine Shot. This is just a clear lip gloss and just pop that on at the center of my lips. So once you're done with the lips, then you're done the whole entire look and this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's super simple. The skin is very glowy and just fresh and bronze and the eyes are just sort of smoky and a little bit grungy and the lips are 
pretty simple and just a plain nude, which I really like. I feel like it just complements the eyes and makes it just a very simple and easy and not like an intimidating look at all. That is it for the finish. Get ready with me. I really hope you guys enjoy this. Do not forget to let me know what you thought in the comments. Thank you guys so much for all of you who sent me those Snapchats. It was really fun opening them up on camera. So do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back or if it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a first impression